Hey, you two. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, um, it's a story time, B. And y'all can thank Tamika and Roxanne because they decided that y'all should get one story time. Tamika said y'all only get one, so y'all only get one. So, let's get into it. Fall in love with me. I introduced her to the game and let her thug with me. She be like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like if she would die, she give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she said she fuck with me the long way. She said she gonna rub my back. I had a long day. She said, baby, I ain't gonna lead you down the wrong way. Okay, so let's get into the rules of story time. Okay, for one, I'm in the closet. I'm in the clo I'm in my closet. I have to record my story times and do my voiceovers in the closet because my neighbors are disrespectful as hell. Y'all already know this. Okay, y'all already know this. Now, y'all gonna see me do a lot in this video. I'm about to fix two wigs and do my regular hair. I don't know what was going on in my mind. Like, I knew I needed to wash my hair, but for some reason I wanted to pull these wigs out because I wanted to be like three different people in one day and shit. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, let me just record it that way I can do my story time, and boom, okay? So y'all gonna see a lot happen. Y'all gonna see a lot happen, but it's happening. Okay, rules, next rules. Um, For all you saints out there, no, no okay, let me say this. I fuck up. Okay, I fuck up when I'm doing, let me tell you something. When I'm doing voiceovers, if I fuck up, I fuck up. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And my Patreon babies already know the rules because they get story times like every other day. But if I mess up, I'm not going back because what I'm not going to do is re-record a whole voiceover, edit it and all that. So if I fuck up, I fuck up. I'm going to try not to cuss too much. I'm going to try not to do too much because this is YouTube and not Patreon. It's, ugh, it's tough. It's tough. I'm, I'm going to try. But I had to think of a story that I can actually tell on YouTube. And it's crazy because I'm definitely about to tell y'all the story about how, when I lost my virginity. But before you go there, Saints, huh? Before you before you go there, I'm not gonna tell you about the actual part of losing my virginity. Okay, so calm calm it the fuck down. And I cuss. If you don't like cussing, then you on the wrong page. But uh calm it the fuck down. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, because I can feel your eyebrows rising. Huh? I can feel your blood pressure going up because you're like, oh my God, she finna talk about sex. No, that's not the point of the story. There's a point in the story. There's like an important part of the story, but I can't tell you what the story is because I'm going to give it away. So you just got to listen to the damn story. And the story is written in my first book anyway. So <laughs> the shit already opened to the motherfucking public. So anyway... And I might occasionally stop and say what I'm doing in the video or like talk to myself in the video because I'll be doing some stupid shit. Y'all know I'm random as fuck. I ain't even got to lay out all these rules because y'all already know me. And if you don't meet, don't know me, see, fucking up. If you don't know me, that means you ain't subscribed. So you need to go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this story time, you're going to have to join the Patreon because this, this is what they get. This is what they get. So I'm giving you this one because Tamika said so. So, and I'm going to clear my throat. <coughs> Let me clear my th dun, 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 dun. okay. No, for real. Let me quit playing. So, I was 14 years old, right? Right. And I was talking to this dude. Oh, what name I'm gonna give? We're gonna call him Derek. I don't remember what I named him in the book, but we're gonna call him Derek. Okay, obviously, I'm not gonna put his real name out on YouTube. I think he like a crackhead or some shit now. Or he might be in jail. I don't even know, child. I ain't no telling. That nigga broke into my mama's house like three times when we was adults. That's not the point. So I was 14 years old and I was talking to this dude. I, nah, I'm not going to get into the story of how we met because that ain't the motherfucking point. And he was in the neighborhood. He lived in the house behind mine. So he lived in the street behind me. And I lost my virginity to him when I was 14 years old. So the day it happened, the day it happened, right? See, me, as y'all know, I'm a reformed hoe, right? Okay, right. So, and my mama already know this, child. Baby, I used to have so many niggas in that house. I used to, listen here. Now, she probably don't know how many niggas I had in her house, but I had niggas in the house. Like, on a regular. I'm sorry, mama. I am. I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry, mama. Focus, girl. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, you know who I was. I'm sorry, I'm not that person no more. Just in case she listening, I had to put that out there. But 
baby let me tell you so he came over uh we really walked from the bus stop together and we went in the house and shit y'all know my mama didn't get off until like hmm, six seven something like that my stepdaddy didn't get off until the same around the same time school let out by the time i get home it's like 3 30 so i got time i got time i got a couple hours to do what the fuck I want to do. That's how I had so many niggas in my mama house. Baby, when I left that bus stop. <laughs> when I got out of school, it's like my house was like the house. If y'all know what y'all know what I mean when I say the house. It went down in my house. <clears throat> so, we get in the house and I'm nervous as fuck, obviously. Because I'm about to lose my virginity. Ugh, duh, who the fuck ain't nervous? But I wasn't like nervous, nervous, like, oh my God, I'm about to like how they be doing on TV and shit because my mind was already way further. Like I had already was fucking with niggas. I just had never actually had sex before. So, and he was, I'm talking about thug life. I lived in the hood. I lived in the hood. So he was a hood nigga. I only dated hood niggas. I didn't do regular niggas. That wasn't really my thing. I like hood niggas. So he, we were in the bedroom, obviously blah 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 getting it getting it on no i'm just playing that shit did not happen that fast <laughs> girl you lying but i had a twin size bed back then i'm trying to figure out how in the hell it should be happening but anyway so girl i've changed wigs already um i'm trying to y'all have to think this was i was 14 i'm 30 years old so i had to go back and take a minute to remember what the fuck happened but i be visualizing the shit it's easier for me to write stories than it is for me to tell them but when i tell them them hoes be so much more funnier much more funnier bitch that don't even make sense anyway so we in there and i'm nervous and shit and he obviously done done this before he like oh you know it ain't gonna hurt it's gonna be all right nigga you're lying yes the fuck it is gonna hurt okay it's gonna hurt i'm losing my virginity duh the shit gonna hurt okay don't feed me no bullshit i already know what's up so i'm telling my baby before we could <laughs> before we could even get into it to it <sighs> now my mama don't never come home early she don't never come <sighs> she never come home early we were literally, <laughs> literally, literally in the bedroom. And when I tell you, I was, mind you, a lot of niggas was in my mama house. Okay. I was sneaking and freaking for years. So my, like my instincts can, I can literally hear my mama coming from up the street. Like I just was always on alert because you never know what's going to happen. Like, you never, I had, my mama is crazy as hell. Like, she would have literally beat the skin off me had I got caught. And that's a story that's on Patreon about the time my mama literally, like, whooped my ass on some shit I did. But, again, that's on Patreon. So, I had already knew, like, my ears was open, wide open, all the way open. Because I'm, I'm paying attention. My room is in the back. So, I hear a car roll up. I said, oh, shit. We both looked at each other like, we about to die today. This a hell no, fuck no. I'm not doing this. I'm not dying today. My mama is going to kill the both of us if you get caught in this house. Hmm? If you get caught in this house, she going to kill the both of us. So I think at that time, um, no, she hadn't put me on birth control yet because I don't think she knew that I was actually having sex. It happened a little bit later. So we both get up and start running, running around the house trying to put clothes on, child. And we had a guest room. This was before my stepbrother moved in. So I'm trying to fit. I can't get him out the house without my mama seeing him because we had a corner house. Like, it was like a corner house, but I didn't know what side she was on. So I had to go to the window to see, is she in the driveway? She in the front? She on the side of the house? Like, where's she at? So I'm like, fuck, how the hell am I going to get this nigga out this house? If I open the front door, she gonna see the front door open. She gonna see him. He is black as hell. It's bright as fuck outside. She gonna see this nigga and she know this nigga. My mama ain't stupid. Ain't no mama stupid. All my mamas out there, y'all know. So, baby, when I thank the Lord that day, I told this nigga, I told this nigga, I said, hey, bro, you gonna have to go hide under the bed in the guest room. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking how the fuck I'm gonna get this nigga out the house. 
I said, go hide under the bed in the guest room. Because she don't never go in the guest room. So if you go in the guest room and hide under the bed, we might be able to pull this shit out. Thank the Lord she had went to the grocery store that day. She had went to the grocery store. And she literally, she called me and she was like, come outside and help me with the groceries. So the groceries stalled her. Right, because she got to carry the groceries. And it was hella groceries, meaning like multiple trip groceries. Even though I was helping her, it still was multiple trips and shit. So she was like, come outside and hit me with the groceries. I'm like, oh, fuck. And see, I'm a horrible fucking liar. Like, I had the nerve to be sneaky, but I'm a horrible liar. Like, my game face is just not there. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out, like, how the fuck I'm finna, like, fix my face and shit. Because my mama know. Like, she a mama. She got instincts. And I'm in pain a little bit. So I'm like, fuck, all right, get this together, bitch. So I go outside, help with the groceries. Mind you, Derek is still underneath the bed in the guest room. Hmm? He's in the house. She come in the house with the groceries as I'm going to the car to get the other groceries. So now I'm outside and they both in the house together. She in the kitchen. I'm like, Jesus, please let her come outside and get some more groceries. Because at this point, it ain't no way I can let him out because the back door and the front door she could see. Because we had one of them kitchens where you could see the living room and the den. So unless, unless we going to, how we going to get out of here? How we, how, how, Sway? So I'm like, Lord, please let her go back to the driveway so I can get this nigga out the front door. But I still feel like she going to see him. This, all this is going through my mind and my heart is racing, uh, racing. Cause I'm like, Lord, if I get caught, Jesus, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Please don't send me to an early grave. <laughs> <sighs> if y'all would have y'all don't understand the level of fear that was in my heart like literally the fear because y'all don't know melissa y'all don't y'all don't know melissa okay she is crazy she better not because she older and i'm older but she crazy for real in real life so i'm like okay so she goes back to the car to get some more groceries so why like mind you we we doing we doing the in and out moves because she going out i'm going in because we both carrying the groceries so while she was doing that i had came up with a plan i remembered that my room is the only room in the house where you can get to the backyard out the window all the other windows all the other bedrooms literally the windows face the front of the house and they covered by furniture my room just so happened to be the one room that's in the backyard. My room also happened to be the only room where one of the windows didn't have a screen on it. I didn't think about that shit until that moment. I said, oh, Lord, I'm saved by grace. <laughs> I'm going to hell. I am literally talking about sex and God. He understood. OK, God forgives. But I'm literally like, okay, I got it. Mind you, again, Derek is still under the goddamn bed. Okay, he's still up under there. I had went in there and I glanced a little bit and he was trying to kind of like get out. I'm like, I, 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 nigga, don't move. Not right now. Now it's not. Like, wait for my cue. So I'm like, all right, bet. I can get this nigga out the window in my room while she go outside and get the groceries. And then... Whatever happened after that, that ain't going to be in the backyard. He going to have to figure out how to hop the fence and go the other way or something. Again, we had a corner house. So if he coming out the backyard on the side, she ain't going to be able to see him because she on the other side of the house in the driveway. Or by this time, she'll be back in the house. And mind you, all this shit happening so fast. Like, it sounds like it's going by slow because I'm explaining the story. But literally, time was moving so fast. Like, all of this happened in like five minutes. <laughs> like all of this happened in five minutes so she went back to the car and i thank god my mama walked slow who lord who lord my mama little heavy said she thick thick she thick so she walk she don't walk fast so i'm like all right i got a little time because she don't walk that fast so baby as soon as she stepped out that house i went and got that nigga i said come on let's go let's go let's go let's go moved him back in my room i already had the window up baby i lifted that window up so fast i almost took that bitch off i said go get out nigga get out <laughs> i'm pushing this nigga out of the window and mind you this ain't no little nigga like for him to be 15 years old he was a big dude like he was really tall and like kind of buff for him to be 15 like y'all know teenagers 
shit back then and these days they look like grown ass men and women but i'm literally trying to push him out of the goddamn window so he gets out the window i close the window my mama is back in the kitchen and all i hear is miranda what are you doing come on with these groceries and help me lord 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 <laughs> What I tell y'all, I am so happy. She didn't walk to the back. She didn't walk to the back. Like, it's weird because my mama was the type where she came home, she never went to her room. I don't know what that was about. Like, she always went to the kitchen or to the living room and shit first. She never was the one to come in the house after work and just go straight to her room. It take a minute. So I'm like, all right, you know, and she's preoccupied with the groceries and trying to get everything situated in the kitchen. So all I heard was her yelling because I'm taking too long to come back up front because it's like, okay, first you was getting the groceries. Now I don't see you. What the hell you doing? I got that. I was like, I'm coming. I got his ass out that window. Baby, I went back into the kitchen and I'm breathing a little hard. So my mom was like, what? Are you, why are you breathing so hard? What is, what's going on? I said, well, the groceries was heavy. <laughs> I was like, well, the grocery was heavy and you you know, I got asthma. So I'm, you know, just breathing hard. Like, what are you talking about? Like, girl, what, what? My mama ain't stupid. Like I, she knew, she knew, but it's like, she didn't know, no for real. So she ain't say shit, but she knew. She for sure knew. Like if I was to ask her today, she definitely be like, I knew you. I knew it was a nigga in my house. I ain't fucking stupid. I should probably ask her that. Nah, I ain't breaking that shit up. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Fuck no. Uh-uh gone in the past but he get out the backyard we had a labrador retriever named coffee baby coffee <laughs> coffee was jumping and hopping all on this nigga because he is trying to figure out how the hell am i gonna get out this backyard he jumped that goddamn fence he jumped the fence because once i had a second when she turned her back in the kitchen i had went and went to the ran to the back like real quick so i could look out the window to see if that nigga had got away like is you still in the backyard or did you get away i need to know like what's your status what what is your status okay because he ain't had baby we had no phones back then we had house phones cell phone where cell cell phone where who had a cell phone I got my first cell phone at 14 for Christmas. It wasn't Christmas yet. Who had a cell phone? Babe, we had house phones. So ain't no communicating. I don't know where this nigga at. I don't know where he at. Ain't no texting. Ain't no calling. I got to wait for that nigga to get back in the house and then call me on the house phone. And my mama didn't like him, so he can't even call me on the house phone. So I'm like, Lord, please let this man have got out of my backyard. He told me he hopped the fence. Well, no, I take that back. I went to the window and all I saw, <laughs> I went to the window that was facing, I actually went into the guest room because the guest room window was facing the front of the house. Went into the guest room, looked out the window, all I seen was a white shirt and a dark figure running down the goddamn street. That full-fledged taking the fuck off, that is all I saw. I said, whew, like the level of relief that I had in that moment that I had pulled that shit off. <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> the level of relief that I had in my heart that I had pulled that shit off. And all I heard again was, Miranda, if you don't bring your ass in here to this kitchen and help me put up these groceries, what are you doing? I was like, oh shit. So I ran back to the kitchen. I'm like, my bad mama, I was like in my room. I'm messing around. I don't remember what the fuck I said, but whatever the fuck I said sounds stupid as fuck, I'm sure. Like, I'm acting weird as hell, but I'm not acting weird enough for her to like ask me a bunch of questions and shit. But I had a little relief then because that nigga was gone. Like he was out the house. I was safe. Like we didn't get caught. We didn't get caught. Hmm? Child, let me tell you something don't y'all <laughs> i'm gonna leave y'all with this y'all think i ain't never got caught <laughs> y'all think i ain't never got caught now all i'm gonna tell you is i pulled that shit off for some years 
I was cold and sneaky and slick with my game. I knew I was in them streets. I knew every routine, every schedule, every trick, every game. That's why I don't understand why I can't lie now. It's like, no, I can't, I can't lie, but I cannot say nothing. I can hold a secret like no other, but I just can't lie. Because I beat and forgot what the fuck I lied about, and then it be messing up the whole thing. Like I can't lie. <laughs> it don't it don't work for me. Um, so I have got caught again, you gotta go to Patreon. I'm not giving y'all that story. I'm not giving y'all that story. I'm not doing it. But I literally was horrible. That the moral of the story is bitch, I almost died that day. <laughs> like it wasn't I told y'all the story wasn't about me losing my virginity okay that's irrelevant it 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 was lost well not really at that point it happened again later obviously because we ain't have enough time that ain't the point but that wasn't the point of the story the point of the story is I almost died they was I, I almost went into an early grave I almost ended up in the hospital she might have not killed me but I'd have for sure went to the hospital I'd have, I'd have for sure went to the hospital like no bullshit like, they would have had to literally come get me in the ambulance. Had my mama caught Derek in the house. Hmm. That would have been the end of me. That would that would have been the end of me. And all my people on my YouTube that know Melissa for real, like, all my, like, Christian, my best friends, like, my friends in real life that know my mama, I already know what's up. Most of them already know this story anyway. But they already know what's up. That it, child. That that was my little story time for YouTube. Again, I was trying to find a story that was like not too bad and like good enough for YouTube because I can't literally my stories of my life be crazy as hell. If y'all like like this story time and want to hear more, you gotta join the Patreon. Tamika said I can only get y'all one. Y'all gotta convince convince Tamika. I can't. I gotta listen to my patrons, cause they 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 pay me, so I got to do that, cause they pay the light bill. But at this point in the video, I am trying to untangle my real hair, and it hurts so bad. You can see the sheer pain in my face. Like I wanted to cry. <laughs> I legitimately wanted to cry i already didn't want to wash my hair look at the frustration on my face i'm mad i'm singing but i'm mad because that shit hurt it it hurt it in real life and now i'm sitting here with this conditioner in my head and i was like let me go ahead and do this story time real quick while i'm sitting here with the conditioner so child i don't went through two wigs i don't fix two wigs and then i don't wash my hair i done did a whole bunch of shit but y'all gonna see me actually do my hair because I'm finna come back with another video, a motivation video that I'm gonna record for y'all. My neighbors being real disrespectful. It's the day before Thanksgiving, so they loud and doing the absolute most per the usual. But I'm gonna try to record at least four videos today, including reaction videos. So y'all might see me in the same shirt. Y'all not gonna see the same hair because what I'm gonna do is put on the motherfucking wigs because, again, I want to be three, four different people in one day. That's That's the plan that's the assignment okay so uh i hope you enjoyed that story time and until the next time bye